In recent years, waiting lists for housing have soared to record levels. And despite 4.5 million people needing homes, there are almost a million properties standing empty across the UK. This is a country in the grip of a housing crisis, which needs to be addressed nationwide. The government recently announced a fund of £50 million to help regenerate areas losing the fight against empty properties. So I've come to London to meet David Ireland of the Empty Homes Agency to find out just what a difference this money can or will make. David, how are you doing? Good to see you. How mad does it make you when you see just the amount of empty properties in this country? Well, it, it, it does, and I just think, you know, how many people's lives could be so much better if they had a home to live in? And, you know, what must they feel like when they see something like this, these houses empty and they haven't got a home for themselves at all? Yeah. Let's talk empty properties and government funding. First of all, there was £100 million made available to tackle empty properties. Now another sort of additional £50 million. What's the thinking behind this extra pot of cash? Well, this, this money is specifically aimed at areas where there's a large concentration of empty homes and also where the market is weak. Regeneration is trying to get areas that are run down back and going again, getting the housing market going. I suppose once decline sets in on a whole area, street upon street empty, it's very difficult to turn that around, isn't it? No, it is, and you need something to break the logjam, and sometimes funding can do just that. It seems to me this is about kick-starting. This is kind of a spark to try and turn areas around, and once they're moving again and going in the right direction, I suppose it's hoped that individuals or developers come in and sort of jump on the bandwagon? Yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I, I think that it's the direction that areas are going on which is critical. And if areas are going down, then nobody's going to invest. If you can get areas starting to go up, even if they're still, still in, in, in quite a poor shape, then people see that it's worth putting their money in, and then areas really begin to take off again. Finally, there is some money being available now. First 100 million, now this extra pot of 50 million for regeneration of, of empty properties in specific areas. How encouraging is that for you, that there's some hope, there's some attention, some money on this problem? At a time when actually it's quite difficult to get any public money for anything, you know, I think it's, it's amazing that we've got this and I, I, I'm very pleased that it's there. It's not enough to solve the whole empty homes problem by any means, but it's a very good place to start. Tackling the problem of empty homes is clearly on the government agenda. Money is being made available, which is great news. Of course, it can't be solved overnight. It does require a long-term commitment. But investing in vacant properties today helps create and maintain our communities of tomorrow.